All right, so for the second example, we have two exponential equations. So one is growth because the money that you deposit is growing, that account balance is growing because it's being compounded. And then the boat value is decaying because it's not as worth as, worth as much as it was new. So what I'm looking for is when will I have enough money in my account to pay for the boat? So when will my account balance and the cost of the boat be equal? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our calculator. So we're gonna start off by going to our y equals, clearing out anything that's already in there, and we're gonna type in our two equations. So my first equation is 2,500, and it's a growth of 1.05, so it's 5% compounded annually to the x. And I know it says t, but we're gonna use x. We always wanna use this when we type um, an equation in. And then my second equation is the value of the boat. So it starts out new, its initial value is 8,000, and then it's decaying because it's less than one at a rate per year. So I want to zoom fit. I wanna see where these two fit on my graph. So I'm gonna hit zoom zero, which is zoom fit, and it's going to graph, hopefully. So here is my growth. So that's my account balance. Over the course of the years, it's growing. And then we have the value of the boat and it's decaying. And if you notice, it is right down here. So I can't really see where they cross. So what I'm gonna need to do is I'm going to need to look at my window and see. So we need to zoom in essentially. So let's go to our window. So it's starting out here, and all of this is taking place in the first quadrant. So let's keep that in mind. So I'm gonna go to the window and my minimum. So if it's in the first quadrant, let's go ahead and start at zero. And we clearly don't need to go all the way up to 70. That was too far. So let's just say 20. I'm just, whoops, 0 and 20. All right, and we're going by ones. Now let's look at our Y minimum. So it was going from 10 to 76,000. So let's go ahead and say 0 and 76,000, or yeah, 76,000 was really, really big. The most the boat is going to cost is 8,000. So let's just go to 10,000. So we're going a little bit above that. So now I'm going to graph it. And you see it's just zoomed in on my graph. So there's my account growing. And there's the boat decaying. So I was able to adjust my window appropriately. And so now I'm going to second calc. And I want to find their intersection. So there is my account. That's the first curve and it jumped to the decay of the boat, and I'm gonna guess. So after 8.12 years, my account balance will be $3,716.81, and after 8.12 years, the decay of the boat will be $3,700 roughly. So the question is, how long will it take me? How, when will I have enough money? After eight years.